Alright, so Ivy got a lot of buffs. Her down one is now went from being negative seven on block to negative four. So it's it's much safer now, I guess. Yeah. Before she couldn't interrupt Harley's tantrum stance, that one is a tantrum stance, so that's why I, th I thought like she would lose a matchup, but now she could, as you can see. So Harley doesn't just go through her like before, you know. Alright, so there you go. She also got a bed of thorns buff. I believe it does more damage. Dot damage does 12.22 now. Meter burn still does more, of course. The good thing about this though is that if they jump, they're gonna be able to take they're gonna take more damage, so this will be super helpful in the corner. Just imagine the chip damage with the Tura. It's basically like Aquaman's Trident Rush, I would say. Yeah, look at that. She's taking 50... I can't read that. 50 something. Just for jumping. This is probably the best thing she got, which is a safe wake up. On stream they said it, w it had a gap, but it actually doesn't. Opponents could back that shit, but you could still keep pressuring them with just back two down two. It's plus seven. It's uh, super good, super, super, super good. You could just continue your pressure with it. It's basically insane. <laughs> I honestly think this is like an over buff. <laughs> I don't think she needed that much of a plus move. But I'll take it, you know. Let's have her block it, let's see. Yeah, just imagine the pressure, like, just keep going. They're going to be scared of the the champion Bitey Bash. So yeah, that's some pressure you could do. It also knocks full screen, so you could just keep zoning, bully people that have no projectiles, like Flash or Canary, even more, right? I think you could call this safely. I think you could call trait safely. I'm not sure. It probably wouldn't work on like Atrocitor or Starfire. It's super good. Knocks them full screen. You could just keep zoning. Stay away. Good against Catwoman, I think. It's just something you could do with the thorn setup. I don't know, I need to post a video of all the setups I have. Oh, this is a, also another good buff. Her trait does not interrupt kiss, so you could continue the combo even after. I don't think this was necessary. I mean, I actually got the timing down with trait, you know, like for one interrupted, but this is great for new Ivy players. It doesn't interrupt her grab as well. It's crazy, you see? Now it does three hits. Look how much damage she does, you see? It's crazy. <laughs> this also works. So yeah, she got hella buff. Down one now connects with drill. I'm sure a lot of Ivy players are happy about that. You could combo off of it. Now you could like check people with down one, get a full combo. Maybe even now Supergirl, when she just does down down one, you could check her after. Or even Robin. Or cat that you could punish easier, like easily now, and then just hit a combo. It's pretty dope. But here I was trying to connect the <laughs> down one into straight. <laughs> I got so many bad inputs, so that connects too. I was trying to connect down one into the up the Tura, but it didn't work. And I kept trying and trying, but I failed. <laughs> so only straight Atura, Drill, 
Bidey Bash, um, the low, the Tura connect out of Donwin. Sorry about the background noise too, by the way. So yeah, only forward and low and vine draw connect after down one. That's so good, honestly, down one to up the turret would have been broke. <laughs> it's just some fancy combos I came up with. <laughs> Not optimal, I wouldn't do these in a real match, just to show you guys that you could still, of course, do the move in the combo. I think Ivy's probably like top 10 now, I'm not sure. It probably won't help her in the Cyborg matchup or Blue Beetle. But for sure against Supergirl I would say. Alright then, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you guys some other day.